Well, welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. What is going on, folks? How are you today? I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Women Carry Knives is sitting across from the table from me. She's been here all week. Okay, we need all these videos in one night, but you're going to get them all week long. What's going on, Miss Women Carry Knives? I just paint my nails. Show us. Are they done? They're oh, wet. They are. I cannot do any... Re <gasps> you would die. I would die. You but would I, die. I would die smiling and laughing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't do it. What are you reviewing there, therapeutic? My glasses. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a great day. <laughs> what is on the table in front of us today? This is the Flix from AM8 Knives. It is. She's looking at me like I've lost my marble. <laughs> no. You did lose your marble, but... I don't have any marbles. I've got it. So, what is AM8 <laughs> Knives? AM8 Knives is an offshoot from Migaron. Uh, from the mind of Sam Lau. He is a really nice guy. Uh, this is... A fantastic knife. Um, it is M390. It is carbon fiber and titanium, of course. It is running on ceramic bearings. It has a fantastic pocket clip. Uh, he made some interesting design choices. The milling on the uh, titanium is really cool. It's pretty. It is pretty knife. Yeah. And they're inexpensive. I don't remember exactly how much these are. I will put a, post that in the description because it's been a while. Um, I really like this. This is another one of his front flippers, and it's got this little deployment slot on this side. This is a bit of a challenge because I have big fingers. Uh, deployment by way of the front flipper is totally satisfactory and works beautifully. It's got a lovely drop point blade on it. The handle is very neutral and really, really comfortable, and it's got a great forward choil. You can come forward and get the knife this way if you'd like to. I'm going to try that little deployment slot. We'll see how that goes. All right, ready? Oh, look at that. Like butter. Butter. Um, it's like a nail. Sam nail. just wanted to do something different, and he didn't want to put this under the uh, the Migaron brand for some reason, so he chose not to. This is the AM8 logo, which I think is very cool. Um, it's a good knife. <laughs> Sam has, in the last two years, year and a half, produced five or six just astonishingly good knives. Um which I don't have on the table. But we're not going to talk about that. And don't laugh at me over there. We cleaned up. Now I don't know where anything is. So let's talk about the Flix. By the way, uh, if you don't like the name Flix, blame me, because I named this knife. <laughs> I figured it was, you flick it open. It makes perfect sense, right? Uh, you get uh, about three and a quarter of cutting on three and a half inches of M390. The grip area from behind that swell on this lovely neutral handle is just a little sh little over three and a half, but with the forward choil, it is one, two, three, four, and just about three quarters, a little bit short of that. Okay. Closed profile on this knife is really good uh, because there's no flipper, right? Of course, you're coming in at an inch and a quarter, right? Not bad at all. Overall knife from tip to tail is eight and a quarter inches overall. It is a full size knife. Let there be no illusions about that. Uh, it's got this great milling on the lock bar. Now it is more of a bolster lock than a frame lock, right? Because it comes underneath the, ti the uh, titanium, underneath the carbon fiber right here. I think he's done a marvelous job. The factory has just really pumped out a great knife. There is no milling on the inside of the uh, titanium here, so it's got a little bit of weight to it. Uh, it's got, as I said, it's a really nice drop point with a great swedge that runs basically the length of the blade. I have shown you that deployment slot a couple of times. I'll do it again. Uh, pocket clip is not exactly what you would call deep carry. What can we use? Let's use one of these. But it's not terrible either. You get about that much knife sticking out. Not a big deal. I'm going to try that little deployment. Look at that. It works every time. It's funny because earlier today I kept missing. So I said, I'm just going to use the front flipper. And now it's working every time. Let's do some size comparisons. What do we have that's fun? Oh. Here it is against the... Uh, I don't know where he's at. Here it is against the Rat 1. An old favorite. As you can see, you get more cutting and a little less knife. The Rat 1 is really a long knife considering how short the blade is. What else do we have? Here's the Keen Nader from Civivi. Right. About the same, a little bit smaller, but you get about the same amount of cutting on the uh, on the Civivi here. Here's the Bug Out, which you guys have seen many, many times. The Bug Out. 
Look, if the Adamus is actually the Adamus, then the bug out is clearly the bug out. Right? The Flix here is a full size knife, and I really, really like it. Here's a knife that I reviewed earlier this week. Here is the Helictus. You liked it? I liked it. So it's mine now. Uh, it is smaller than the Helictus, but still a nice full size knife. I love stuff like this. I really do. Um, you know, Sam's just over there pumping out fantastic designs. This is no exception. Of course, the clip is all titanium. If I failed to mention that. Um, some of you may notice it's got a couple of extra body screws here and here. I imagine that is to keep the uh, carbon fiber married nicely to the titanium. Would I have liked it if they'd come up with a way to remove this screw? Sure. I think it would have looked prettier, but I'm not going to knock it. This knife is under $200, so... You're getting a lot of knife for that much money. Everything on this knife is chamfered and smooth, except the edge, which is very sharp right from the factory. Um, it's just very comfortable in hand. It really is. We're going to go ahead and weigh it out. The action's very good, too. I don't know if you guys caught that, but it's smooth without being, you know, it's not going to drop down and take your finger off, but it is really smooth. I like that quite a bit. Let's go ahead and weigh it and see where we land. I don't think it's a lightweight. I really don't. Let's move it down a little bit. Yeah, 4.7 ounces. You know, where is the, uh, the Presidio 2? Comes in at you know, 5 ounces. These knives are similar in dimension. Right? You know, the uh, Presidio is a little bigger, but not much. So... It's not a surprising weight. <clears throat> I will post a link to the Migron site, which is where you can find these. The best place to get these is really AliExpress, and I know a lot of you have had problems with AliExpress. Sam is working on a U.S. warehouse. So maybe somewhere down the line you'll be able to order your Migron or your AM8 knife and have it show up in five days instead of 14 days which is a bit of a bummer, but I think it's worth it. I really do. I know that Neves has had one of these, and a couple other people have had one of these, and I have not heard a complaint yet. Now, I, need, I know Neves said that his action was a little stiff. He wiggled the, uh, the pivot a bit to make it a little smoother. Mine came right from the factory, so I suppose that's just a luck of the draw thing? <laughs> oh, thanks, dog. Thanks for sharing in the video. Anyway, this has been the AM8 Knives... Flex. I hope you've enjoyed this look at it. I know I've enjoyed sharing it with you. Thank you so much for watching. Say goodbye, Women Carry Knives. Bye, Women Carry Knives. It's been great to have you guys here. Hey, if you're still here at the very end of the video, do me a favor and subscribe. I would love to have you here on a regular basis. We'll see you next time.